I love my community. Black excellence, that's what you do to me. Positive vibrations. I'm a god, no Satan. I'm a god. I was raised with the killers. But my plan is to heal you. I'm a heal you. Intellectual mind frame. Check it out. I'm a player, so I peep game. Yeah, so today I want to bring up this particular subject matter that's very important. Um, I love hip-hop. Hip-hop is a beautiful culture, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, the whole originality of how it came about and the whole, everything about it, you know? even though it has made a wide turn to what it is now, you gotta take the good with the bad in everything in life. <clears throat> so, just recently they revealed that Jam Master J had two killers involved with his murder. One even like, uh, what's his like godson or whatnot. You know, which is, you know, very close to home. It gets no closer than that. Uh, track the situation. Recipes Jam Master J from the legendary Run DMC. Um, and allegedly, you know, how all that came about supposedly was he got low on money and started dibbling and dabbling with the drug trade. And something went wrong. Allegedly. I'm not saying that's what happened. That's, that's what was said and blah, blah, blah. Um, Because he was, you know, taking care of people and, you know, things change. You get, and you get accustomed to a certain lifestyle when you make a certain amount of money. And you don't want to never. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming and I know that's what's going on. You don't never want to go back to the previous way of, you know, Check, living check to check, really getting by and so forth. Um, same with the rapper Fetty Wap. Doing real good. The next thing you know, boom, he started hustling and get cracked up. And now he in jail, you know, free Fetty Wap. Um, so my whole point is this. I'm not here to bash nobody at all. Just to give a little insight, you know. Um, it's just similar to like when certain rappers become famous and then um and i'm not talking about nobody in general i'm just talking about period and they join gangs you know people gonna do what they want to do and move how they want to move and everybody got their own way they can do anything and this is your life it's like this is my life so we all got to respect each other and people have a different reasons why they do whatever and nobody's perfect we all make mistakes that's why we gotta pray every day for our mistakes, for our sins, blah, 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 right? Can I get an amen? <laughs> so look, <clears throat> so let's just say like, uh, you become a rapper, actor, anything, whatever, whatever, football player, you know, because everybody that made mistakes, even just a regular dude that might've got a good job and he started living a certain life and then he, shit happens and you gotta start back doing this and that you know um this is where the business becomes very important you know um and i've done things myself in the past where i was living a certain way and things got rough so i know not on that super high level but we have to invest our money that's what it boils down to we get this bread you're making a certain amount of money up here and you was making like way down here originally have your fun i'm not telling you to have fun have your fun go you know do what suits your purpose but we have to start investing because if we don't invest and the money gets slow guess what and investments can, can go wrong too don't get me wrong of course but just in general, you know, hypothetically speaking, we have to invest in business when we get this large amount of money and start living this certain way so we can keep that up. 
Because if we don't, if we keep spending and something go wrong and stuff slow up, you can still be afloat decency where you can maintain that lifestyle, take care of people, whatever you got to do. Or you're going to go down and then that's when it results to people having to double back, for lack of better words, and start doing, you know, this and that to get by and to maintain that uh, lifestyle. We have to get better, you know. Um, and no, and nobody's perfect. This ain't no shots at nobody, you know. Maybe somebody will see this and say, you know what? I need to do that right now. I got a few dollars. I need to go invest a little something. Start a business. It don't have to be no big old business. It could be a little small business. Two small businesses, you know. Them could pop and turn into something else franchise you know i know a couple people that have some small businesses and they turned them into franchises in a few years so you can start small and you never know where something gonna go you feel me especially at this day and age so um and me myself like i said i'm still working on all kinds of things i'm not perfect this is a a vice video this is a positive video you know we're not bashing not at all you know so hopefully you know i'm gonna leave it like that i ain't gonna keep digging but hopefully somebody gets what i'm trying to put out there to the universe let's get better y'all y'all get some money y'all come up y'all start living this lifestyle whatever even if you ain't living a lifestyle if you just come up on some money and you really start doing your thing start a business you know buy some houses do, it's different little stuff you could do to keep money coming in. You don't want, I know a couple people that just buy houses all the time. Got two, three houses. That's their business because you could Airbnb them, rent them out, you know, things of that nature and have money coming in every month. It's a business. Um, so we have to start doing business. Each one teach one, you know. When I talk to y'all, I'm talking to myself to remind myself. Um, we got to get better, and um, that way we can keep things circulating. Like I said, you never know where nothing's going to go. But you know if you don't invest, after a while, it's going to just keep going down. We know that for sure. So to keep that moolah rolling in, invest it. And if you don't know how to invest, holler at somebody. You don't have time to be at that business? That's cool. You can just be the owner. Find somebody that you trust to run your business, but you just the owner, you know? Or even if you wanna be a silent owner, nobody ain't gotta know it's your stuff, you ain't gotta, you know? It's cool. Hey man, everybody out there have a blessed day, stay humble, stay safe, and stay positive. And uh, that's my word of advice for the day. And may God be with everybody, you know? And bless you watching this video. Thank you for your time, all the time. One love and peace out to the most high. One love. What it do, what it do, y'all. Thank you for tapping in, ladies and gentlemen, with your folks. Peace and blessings to the most high.